ready for the procedure. Okay, I'm coming. Today we are going to show you how ovum pickup procedure is done. It is an integral part of our IVF procedure that we commonly call OCR, oocyte retrieval or OPU means ovum pickup. This procedure is usually done under short general anesthesia. In this first as sterile, everything has to be sterile like I am using a sterile gown, I have washed my hands like we do it for a surgical procedure. There is nothing that you cannot do like that is not it is a small procedure but you have to take all precautions to make it sterile now we use gloves the gloves has to be like powder free gloves you have to be very particular what kind of gloves you are using you can either use these paper gloves or you can use plastic gloves also they also come in powder free whatever you are comfortable in The patient is all covered as you see in, in green sheet, green sterile sheet. Then the machine has to be prepared. So the ultrasound probe, it has to be covered by a sterile sheet. It is very important. So the probe in which you are supposed to do the procedure, that has to be covered by the sterile sheet. Now the jelly has to be applied on the probe. You have to maintain that you are not touching the jelly with the same hands. It is very essential that you apply the jelly on the inside of the probe because there has to be no contact, no touch. Now this probe cover that is used, that is also not the usual condom that you use. It should not have any jelly because these all are gametotoxic, so you cannot use it. So now the probe is covered with it. After covering the probe with it, this is a biopsy guide needle that is applied to the transvaginal probe. So now your probe is ready for the ovum pickup. Now we have to see all the machines, they have to be ready. So basically, this is a this is a suction pump from which we aspirate it. You have to check it before performing it that whether it is performing properly or not. So you have to press the button and check that whether everything is fine or not. So to check it, you have to close this end because then a pressure will be maintained. So you see the pressure is going up to 300, 400. It is not good. So you have to reduce the pressure. Now it is coming up to 200. It's fine. Secondly, this is the dry bath in which we have to put empty tubes and media is put here. In this, the oocyte retrieval, the follicular fluid is going to be collected. And so, the, you can just check those follicular fluid. This has to be given to the embryologist. This has to be maintained in proper temperature. So, this is done in a dry bath. You cannot keep it in the hand and collect the follicular fluid. So, now we start the procedure. This is the ultrasound machine. This is the screen. In this also you have to put the biopsy guide, you have to put it on, there is a setting. So the procedure is guided now, you can see that okay, everything is under guidance, you can see the eggs, everything. So now you put it inside the vagina, first you have to clean the vagina of the patient. These are some of the instruments that has to be kept on the trolley. This is the swab holder, this is the speculum, this is the valsalum, this is the sound. This both all is kept because you have to check the vaginal wall after you do the retrieval that everything is fine or not, patient is bleeding or not. You have to take swabs, these are also sterile swabs. In this you have to put, there is no betadine that is used. You have to be very particular, no betadine has to be used because that is gametotoxic. 
you have to you have to put plain normal saline in this then you wash the clean the vagina with this you basically we prefer that 48 hours before the ovum pick up we get it clean by beta d otherwise it is well and fine if we are doing hvs culture swab and there is it is sterile so we are not worried about it so we clean the vagina and then we start the fluid aspiration in that we we put this probe inside the vagina and we take the needle the needle is provided to us now a junior doctor is always there to assess the procedure so there is this is the ovum pick up needle this is a single lumen ovum pick up needle two types of ovum pick up needles come there is a single lumen and a double lumen we preferably use a single lumen needle this single lumen needle has basically two ends one end is connected to the suction machine we are connecting it right now you can see it and the second edge it has to be put in the test tubes in which we are going to collect the follicular fluid now this probe is put inside the vagina and we put this needle inside the hole of the biopsy guide you can see this is coming out so you have to be very particular when you are cleaning this needle you can always check it and it has to be on the same biopsy guide so in this way now you can do the ovum follicular fluid aspiration you have to be very particular about it you press this and so the follicular fluid starts coming and you have to be very particular you just can't like keep on pricking the eggs because otherwise then the oocytes will get disturbed so you have to be very particular in the manner you are picking these eggs and in the manner that they have been picked the oocytes have to come out of the ovaries otherwise it will be attached in the follicle only so you will have empty follicles so you have to be very particular how you are aspirating the fluid now after the fluid aspiration is done then always clean the vagina check for bleeding and if there is any problem that if there is more bleeding or something you should always put this speculum inside with the valsalam and you should check the bleeding site if there is any bleeding site never shift the patient in the post op ward you have to first check the bleeding stop the bleeding then only shift the patient and then this follicular fluid is sent to the embryology lab the embryology lab window is always near to the ot so that the assistant can always give it to the embryologist and then the embryologist screens it we are very very particular we maintain the temperature and usually it is not taken out it is done with this cubes only that we provide inside to the embryologist 